Welcome to this very special edition of On My Bookshelf because yes, I'm out here again on location. And in this episode, I'm gonna be looking at this book here, Explore and Discover South Wales, because that's exactly what I'm here to do. I'm here to explore and discover this mountain range here in the Brecon Beacon. So I'm gonna talk about the book and I'm here to take some landscape photographs. So what can you expect in this video? Well, two things. First of all, I'm here to capture some landscape photographs of this beautiful location here in the Brecon Beacons. Now, because I'm slightly, well, what shall we call, linguistically challenged, I'm not gonna pronounce the name. I don't want to embarrass myself or offend a whole country of people. So I'll just put it along the bottom there. And this is one of the routes and locations in the book. But just because I've selected a mountain route doesn't mean that this book is full of mountain routes. In fact, there's a whole range of locations suitable for all types of photographers with all sorts of ability. So no matter whether you want to shoot from the roadside with your mobile phone or come on a bit of a mountain adventure, there's probably something in this book for you. But I'll tell you more about Explore and Discover South Wales later on in this video. And that leads me to the second part, which is to talk about the book. That's why I'm here. I'm gonna tell you what's in the book, how to use it, and why I've decided to use a guidebook today for this particular photography trip. But I'm gonna get along and start taking some photographs. So why don't we take a walk? Anyone who watched my photographing the Lake District video, which is a book from also from Photo View about the Lake District, funnily enough, know that I spent a lot of time in that on location video going, wow, what a view. But do you know what? It's exactly the same here. What a view. I think I have kind of lucked out again with the conditions. I think, um, you know, these photo view books, they must be lucky for me or something. Well, I say I lucked out on the conditions, but I've come to the first viewpoint. Well, I'm up above the first, first viewpoint, actually. And there's one slight problem, and one you really shouldn't complain in Britain, and that is a kind of lack of rain, because the water down there is rather empty. The water level is way down, and the problem is when you get these kind of reservoirs and the water goes way down, the ground around it looks no, not very photogenic. So I did have a look about when I was down there, and I couldn't really find an angle. So I thought if I come higher up, which is part of a, the walk and a view down onto the water, it might make that look a little bit less distracting, that, that, that sort of um, dry ground around the outside. And what you can do obviously up here is you can also take into account the view of the, of the mountain range over there. And it looks fantastic. There's just some really nice kind of dappled light, which is changing as it catches the light along that mountain range there. So I've taken a, a few shots, I'm pretty happy with. I've taken some with a phone because like I say, we, these books aren't just designed just for serious landscape photographers with tripods. You know, it's anyone who wants to go and take a picture and discover a little bit of South Wales is good. So I've taken some of that and I've taken some with the camera. But I think, yeah, what a fantastic view. What a great day to be out. Now that we've captured a few photographs, let me tell you a bit more about this book, Explore and Discover South Wales, published by PhotoView and written and photographed by Drew Buckley. So the eagle-eyed of you out there might be going, Julian, this looks very similar to Photographing South Wales, also by Drew Buckley and published by PhotoView. Well, that's because it is the same book. It's just had a bit of a rebrand on the front cover. So inside, all the content is exactly the same. Now, the reason for the rebrand is it's really to highlight this book to a wider audience. Because while, and this has certainly been my experience of reading a, a great many of these photo view books, which I've got quite a few of them on my bookshelf, is that there's so much more than just location guidebooks for the avid landscape photographer. I'll give you an example. I was in South Wales just a few weeks ago on a family holiday. I had no intentions of going out and taking any landscape photographs, but, I still brought my book along and I used it as a guidebook to find out some of the nice areas to go and visit with the family. So you know, they, they are proper 
guidebooks. And as I said earlier, not just for the avid landscape photographer. There's plenty of people out here walking today and they've got their camera phones out. And you know, a book like this can help you discover these walks and discover some of the good places to take pictures with your landscape, uh, with your mobile phone camera. So they're more than just a simple landscape photography locations guidebook. They are a guidebook, hence the reason of the sort of the branding and the, and the title change. But the whole ethos behind the books, the contents, how the publisher works with the author, the, the information and content will remain unchanged. Now this is just the only book that I've seen that they've done this rebrand. I don't know if more are coming along or not. So if you do see them, that is why. Now, the reason I know this is because Photo of You told me, because Photo of You sent me this book. So th this is the book they sent me uh, and asked me if I wouldn't mind featuring it in an on my bookshelf video, which I'm more than happy to do. But I also already own Photograph in South Wales. I pre-ordered it myself, my own money from Drew himself, and I've got a little signed copy at home. But if you would like to get a copy of Explore and Discover South Wales or any of the titles in Photo of You, there's a link in the video description below. And if you buy direct from Photo of You, there's a discount code below there as well. If you use that, you'll get a little bit of a discount. Right, it is a glorious afternoon. Glorious, just look at that view. I'm gonna start walking along that ridge line now to see what else I can discover. Okay, let me tell you a little bit more about this book. So it's a book published by PhotoView, so if you're familiar with any of the titles in the PhotoView collection, you'll be right at home with this one. But let me tell you a bit about this particular title. So it's 448 pages long, it covers 62 locations and has over 500 photographs in it. It's a decent sized book. The book then opens with an introduction written by Drew himself. And then on the following page, you'll find this photograph of the anvil. And this is a great photograph to start with. So it gives you some really good ideas of the types of photograph that you might want to capture from South Wales as well. And it's also a great indication of how good Drew's photography is because throughout this book, you'll find lots of inspiring photographs captured by Drew to help you get out to these locations in South Wales. The book then has a foreword by TV presenter, Kate Humble. The book then has lots of useful information such as how to get to and around South Wales, where to eat and sleep, and what to expect across the seasons. For those people a little bit less linguistically challenged than me, there's a good section on the Welsh language if you wanna give that a go as well. And there's a really good section on how to get the most out of your camera to take good pictures. So there's sections on gear, how to visit some of the classic locations and those all important roadside locations. You then move on to the main content of the book. And the book is split up into a number of small geographical areas. And then in each of those areas, you'll find a number of locations and viewpoints. And these are all coupled with lots of good practical information on how to get there and what to shoot. And there are lots of different types of viewpoints as well. There's mountains, waterfalls, coastal scenes, castles, urban and city environments, and wildlife. There really should be something there for everyone, no matter your experience or mobility. And all these different types of viewpoints are coupled with some of Drew's amazing photography, which I've just shown you. But really the best way to describe how useful a book like this is, is through a practical example. So this leads me on to the reason why I'm using a guidebook today. I'm here in the Brecon Beacons for a really short period of time, but I don't wanna leave this beautiful part of the country without taking some landscape photographs. But I haven't got time to do research for a lot of other locations or even go scouting. That's why I've chosen to use a guidebook today. Let me show you how. So I knew I was coming here to the Brecon Beacon. So it's easy enough for me to open the book and go straight to the section on Brecon Beacons. And then I saw the map and a list of potential locations to visit. Now I knew that I wanted to do some mountain or hill walking route. That's just my preference. When I get out and I get some time, I like to come up into the hills. But as I've already shown in this video, there's lots of different types of locations in this book. But this one really appealed to me. I had a look at the photographs and the route and I thought that's what I want to do. So I had a look at the practical information, such as where to park. Always a most useful bit of information is knowing where to park. 
I then had a look at the little mini map that was there that showed me all the different sort of viewpoints along the route. And I took that and I plotted that into OS maps. So this gives me a more accurate map and I can have a look at, get an idea of how long it might take and the elevation profile, for example. And then once I've got that, it was just a matter of checking the mountain weather information service just to make sure that the weather's going to be fine, always got to be safe. But then I had all that practical information, I had an idea of what the route might be, some possible spots that I might want to photograph. I had everything that I needed. I already had that head start. So when I got here, I was all ready to go. With all this advanced information, I was able to make a plan to get me here. All that's left is for me to take the photographs. Well, depending on what mother nature has thrown at me, which today I have to say is pretty spectacular. So I'm having a good time and just enjoying the walk. And that's the point. I get all this information and it just kind of frees me up to do things like photography and just to enjoy the walk. Okay, the guidebook got me to these viewpoints, but after that, it's up to me to take those photographs. I might have been inspired by some of the photographs that Drew has put in there, but at the end of the day, I can still come here and capture my own photographs. And that's why I like guidebooks such as the ones you get from PhotoView, the pack full of useful information to give you a good head start to capture a great photograph from a location you might not know. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Let's capture some more photographs. I love a good photography guidebook and explore and discover South Wales is no different. I've always got space in my bookshelf for a new title from PhotoView because I find them a great way to maximize my time out with a camera. And as I said earlier, even if I'm not going out with a camera with the intention to take landscape photographs, I was here in South Wales a few weeks ago with the family on a little family holiday. I took the book out with me anyway, just as a locations guide, places to go and visit. So if you're looking for a bit of inspiration for perhaps a location you're going to visit, why not check out PhotoView's website? There's a link in the video description below. And if you find a title that's going to cover an area that you want to go to and you're going to buy it, there's a discount code there as well, so you can save yourself a few quid. Right, don't rush off yet. I'm still actually on the route from the book. I'm at the viewpoint called Picus D, I think it's called. Uh, I'm just waiting for the sun to set. So I'm quite hopeful that this beautiful mountain range is gonna get some golden light on it. So why don't you stick with me and we might see a few more photographs. Well, my time here in this beautiful part of the Brecon Beacons is coming to an end. The sun has now dipped below the horizon. I've got to make the mad dash back down the hill to the car, but I've had a truly fantastic time. What a day to be out with the camera on a long mountain walk. And it's thanks to the information in the book that helped me make the most of my short time here. But if you have a little bit more time, why not check out one of the playlists I'm popping up in the corner of the screen. There's one there for on my bookshelf and there's also a playlist for the other photo view titles that I've done videos on. Why not check out Photograph in the Light District? That's another on location video that I did for that book as well. But if you have enjoyed it, remember to hit that like button, leave me a comment. I do try and read and reply to everyone's comments and give the video a share as well. But until the next video, I'll see you then.